just tested I'm 187 in bed and it thought I was 129 I almost didn't test but glad I did because it's off by 50 points and I would have gone to bed high night it's Monday April 11th and I am in London and I'm a type 1 diabetic and I'm crushing diabetes with open APS so this morning I changed my Sure-T infusion set. This part here on the right, in the middle of the night, actually ripped off. The good news is it um, the other part stayed on no problem. It actually hooked on the doorway when I went to the bathroom. I'm sure most of you have experienced that type of thing. With the silhouette, it usually ripped the whole canola out of you. So um, it was nice to not have that happen in the middle of the night. And I actually switched the whole thing this morning, which ended up being totally fine since I was way overdue for a change. It was in there for five days, but it worked great all five days. How do you say it? Can, can, cannula? Canola? I don't know, something like that. Whatever, the needle part. When I put the new sure tea in, I forgot about the two-unit error thing, so I had to take it out and put it back in. It is 2.0 units. So when I put the one in last week, I had 2.0 units of no insulin going, which made me go a little high, but not too crazy. Makes sense. Looking forward to the open APS meetup tonight, but in the meantime, I'm going to do some tourist stuff for the day. So I ended up 91% uh, in range with the 103 average. And these were my day by day numbers. So I think that makes it the second best week ever. It was uh, pretty solid. I don't know my A1C, I think it was 5.4 for the two week estimated A1C. So I was obviously had probably more standard deviation than the previous week, but um, very, very good overall. I've been about 150 for a while now, so it's, it's high temp in me, but I'm just giving myself an extra unit. Uh, getting low in the, 50s now, um, so I had to stop for food. Been slowly going down for the last couple hours. The reason for that is I took insulin. I had been 165 or so and just steady, 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 and I wanted to go down, so I got annoyed. So I had a third of a scone a couple hours ago and then took some insulin, uh, hoping to go down, which worked, but now I'm too low. Granted, it's almost 2 o'clock here and I hadn't eaten lunch either, so. Time for some food. You're going to take quite a bit of insulin for that, or you're going to hit 200 and you're going to be wrong. Better than lollies, uh, dried mango, and it is 28 and a half carbs. Uh, I took 6.6 .6 units for the sandwich and the cookie, and I did that about 45 minutes ago. But I'm pretty much 200 now, so. Also, I know advanced meal assist is not working because I have it at the very end of my loop after the upload, and I'm not uploading since I'm in offline mode. So I met with Ashling and did a little bit of a uh, interview um, for some of the stuff she's got going for her study. Um, so that was pretty good, and then I went to the meetup. So Oscar organized a location for us to uh, all meet up. There was about seven or eight of us there um, and did some full-on geek out. Did all the different hardware setups everybody had. Um, also got a look at HAP for the first time. Um, some cool stuff. It's really, it's pretty awesome that we got people doing open, open APS stuff and interested in it all around the world. I gave Oscar the ERF that I think I grenaded. He's going to see if he can bring it back to life, as well as a few other ones that I bought online. So he may be able to help us out. So wrapped up the night having some pad thai, which I started at 70 and did a pre-bolus anyways about 20 minutes beforehand. So I didn't actually drop any lower than 70, which I was, and then my blood sugar started to rise up to about 126 is what it is now. And it seems like it's flattened out, um, and that's, uh, I guess that's it for tonight. Good day.